I'm over here. You made it. I'm surprised. I thought you might be too scared. <laughs> you ready for your private ghost tour? Better watch your back, though. We're in an old, spooky cemetery. Under a full moon. You never know what might happen. <laughs> I have a feeling this night is going to be full of surprises. I hope you came prepared for an adventure. This is going to be a night you won't forget. Here, I brought a flashlight. Follow me. Our ghost story begins in the oldest part of the cemetery. It's just a short walk from here. You know, this place, it has always fascinated me. I feel right at home in an old cemetery at night. <laughs> There's something about the historic tombstones. The gentle whispers of the trees, branches, and the wind and the silver moonlight casting long shadows. It's eerie, but also kind of poetic. Don't you think? Like, there's so many hidden stories to uncover in this cemetery. All these forgotten people. They have so much to tell us. We're more alike than you might think. All you have to do is be very quiet. And you can almost hear them whispering their stories to us. Just listen. Do you hear it? The ghosts are mostly friendly. Come on. We're almost to the first stop on our ghost tour. There is an eerie love story I've been researching for my class history project. Some people think it's a myth, but I've actually found evidence of it. You see, over 100 years ago, there once was a beautiful young woman named Anna who lived in the old mansion that overlooks this graveyard. It's still here, too. L look. You can see her old house beyond the cemetery's iron fence. Her house is silhouetted by the full moon. See it? It's still standing, but abandoned. Anna was the envy of the town. Her beauty was unrivaled, and she had many suitors. Including a shy young man named James, who was a poet. It's, it's just a little further. Uh, see that tall tombstone on the hill? The one where my flashlight beam is pointing at? That's where we're going. Um, where was I in this story? Oh, uh, yeah. So James was introverted, mostly because he carried a heavy curse. They say he was bound by a spell that turned him into a beast every full moon. At least that's the legend. Despite his curse, James was deeply in love with Anna. And she had a secret crush on him too but he never dared to confess his true feelings. For fear of putting her in danger. Because when the beast emerged, he couldn't control it. Oh, here we are. It's supposedly on this very spot, in front of this tall tombstone, that the next part of our story took place. One night, while wandering through this graveyard, James was contemplating his sorrowful fate and his curse. And just in that moment, 
below this very tombstone. An old lady emerged from the shadows. She raised her bony, wrinkled hands and gave James an ancient, ornate amulet. She whispered that it had the power to break any curse. But only if he confessed a pure love and sealed it with a kiss. He looked down and read the inscription on the amulet. It said, Beneath the full moon, a kiss of pure love sets you free. When he looked up, the old lady was gone. But for once, he felt hopeful. Maybe he could finally be freed of his curse. So, he decided to confess his feelings to Anna, hoping she felt the same way. Oh my gosh, I'm getting goosebumps already, aren't you? I'm not sure if it's the ghost story or the chilly night air, though. Didn't realize it was going to be so cold tonight. <laughs> Uh-huh. Are you serious? For offering me your jacket? Oh, that's so sweet of you. Thank you. Oh, thank you. This jacket is so warm and cozy. Mm -hmm. That smells good, too. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Did you hear that? What's that? It came from behind those trees. Uh, uh, I'm sorry for clinging onto your arm like that. It's just... Uh, <laughs> I'm glad you're here with me. It makes me feel a lot safer. It was probably just a squirrel or something. Maybe tonight is about facing our fears, right? Both the ghostly and the real ones. All right. Ready for the rest of the tour and the ghost story? <laughs> Great. Let's head over to the old chapel ruins. It's down this dark path. So, our young man, with the magical amulet around his neck, headed to Anna's mansion outside the cemetery gates and knocked on her door. Shocked, but delighted to see him. James asked her to take a walk with him to visit the beautiful chapel in the cemetery. Her heart raced as they walked hand in hand under the full moon and entered the cemetery. She could tell that James had something he wanted to say, and she could barely contain her excitement. Oh, there it is. The old chapel ruins. It's just down this hill, right down these steep steps. Oh, no. My flashlight just died. <laughs> um, would you mind if I held your hand? You're such a gentleman. Lending me your jacket and holding my hand so I don't fall. Oh, you have such nice hands, too. Warm and reassuring. I'm glad you're here with me. It's kind of sad how this beautiful old cemetery is falling apart. Back in the day, it was supposedly so elegant. All right. Well, here we are, at the old chapel ruins. Wow, do you feel that? I can feel a soft breeze brushing the back of my neck. So, ready to hear the next part of the ghost story? All right. So here, under this very moon, standing in front of the chapel, Anna looked deep into James's eyes, waiting. And after what must have felt like forever, 
He finally told her how he felt. He loved her. Ecstatic to finally hear him say the words, they kissed. And for the first time in his life, he felt the hidden beast within fade away. Gone. Like magic. He's finally free. And he didn't feel alone and isolated anymore. It's the kind of love we're all looking for. And for a brief moment in time, everything was perfect. Just the two of them. And a sky full of stars. Sounds dreamy, doesn't it? Is there something on your mind? Like, maybe you want to tell me something? <laughs> oh, no. Well, it's okay. So maybe you can tell me later. There is still more to the ghost story. You see, this is where things get weird. Have you ever seen anything that's so strange? So unpredictable? That you feel like some supernatural forces are at play? Secretly guiding and influencing your life? Well, this part of the story is one of those moments. It makes a chill run down my spine every time I think about it. So, our two lovers are together here in the cemetery. The curse is broken. And they're wrapped in each other's arms. Everything feels right. Almost too perfect. The world around them is still. Almost like it's holding its breath. And that's when... The gentle breeze... They hear the softest whisper. Calling them deeper into the graveyard. Find me. Curiosity peaked, they follow the voice hand in hand. Hearts still racing from their love confession and kiss. And there... In an ivy-covered part of the cemetery, they stumble upon something that shocks them. It's a tombstone, weathered with age. They push aside the ivy and read the inscription, and guess what? Carved on the tombstone is their full names and birth dates, along with the date in distant future, when they both will die. And etched into the stone is the phrase, together in life, still united in death. It's as if they stumbled upon a portal into the future, and were looking back on a lifetime of love, already carved in stone. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's impossible. Right? How could that be? Well, when I was doing some research on this for my class paper, I discovered something incredible. I stumbled upon it while examining an old map of the town I found in the attic of the local library. In an elegant, handwritten script, a note on the map listed this very spot where we stand. The spot was labeled, Site of the Elder Witch's Coven. They'd convene here, drawing down the power of the moon and stars, performing rites and spells. It's their legacy that makes this ground so special. A thin veil between our world and the mysterious beyond. Isn't that insane? These women, these witches, they understood the deep mysteries of the universe. That's why the air tingles on your skin when you stand on this spot. Why your heart beats a little faster. Oh, <laughs> Look at that cute owl above us in the tree. I think he's listening to my ghost story. 
So back to our couple, James and Anna. You might be wondering what happened to them, right? Did they live the life promised on that tombstone? Well, as they grew older together and raised a family, they soon forgot about the tombstone and instead cherished each and every day together. And when the time finally came, they passed away peacefully in their sleep in each other's arms. Just as the inscription foretold, at the stroke of midnight, on the date carved on that tombstone. Legend has it that the couple's love was so strong, so binding, that not even death could end it. I think maybe it was because their love was infused with the witch's magical power. But their spirit stayed right here, in this cemetery. Locals started noticing it decades ago. On certain nights, when the moon is just like this, witnesses have seen two glowing figures moving about the gravestones. Floating, mysterious figures of a man and a woman. The ghosts of James and Anna. We know it's them because the woman has an ornate amulet hanging on her necklace. The same amulet that James received from the mysterious old lady in the cemetery. He had gifted it to Anna on their wedding night. And now, her ghost wears it. Their spirits move gracefully among the tombstones, lost in their own world, as if for living the joy of their love they had in life. They just dance, wrapped in each other's arms. Two ghosts in love, as they waltz to the echoes of distant music. It's something I've always wanted to see, honestly. But I've only heard the stories. Imagine it. Standing here, where the veil between worlds is thin. And getting a glimpse of a love so strong that it defies the laws of life and death. Gives you hope. Doesn't it? That maybe, just maybe, some things are meant to last forever. And that true, eternal love is possible. But here is the really magical part. The legend says that if a couple comes to the cemetery on the night of a full moon and sees the ghosts dancing, it's supposedly a good omen that you'll get married. <laughs> so, what did you think of the ghost story? Kind of gives you chills, doesn't it? I don't know how much is true, but I want to believe it. Just standing here, it seems possible. Right? These silent tombstones. The mist weaving through them like lost spirits. The full moon overhead. Casting long shadows on the ground. It's hard not to feel like we've stepped into another world. And to think, centuries ago on this very ground, there were ancient rituals and secret gatherings by witches. It's like so cool. <laughs> well, anyway, that's why I wanted you to meet me here. So I, I could tell you the ghost story. I hope my professor likes my research paper. Some of it is legend, but I did find lots of historic evidence, too, like property records, birth certificates, love letters, oral histories, maps, and stuff like that. So hopefully my professor is... Oh! Oh my gosh! Look! Over there! But by the crooked tree near the old mausoleum? 
Do you see what I'm seeing, or am I imagining things? Ready for more? Visit Tingly on Patreon for part two and more exclusive audio role plays. Think you can handle the rest? See you there.